<laughs> and we're live. Oh wow. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Um, yes, that's good. <laughs> you going to introduce the wonderful wine? Yes, once I'm just going to bring this up first because we've done this before. <laughs> and check it's working. Okay, there we go. We're on. All right, so good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our wine time, episode six. Oh, I'm not sure actually. Episode I six, I'm pretty sure it is. It's six, yep. Wow. Um, today, I'm, I, only me, am drinking. <laughs> I need to find people that drink wine. So if you drink red wine or any type of wine, <laughs> just come. Just come. Just come on board. Come okay? and join, come join us. <laughs> I've got two tea, tea people. Tea. Tea. tea and tea. It's making Sorry. me look really bad, okay? We'll turn this to untea time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we need to. Um, so today, I'm drinking a Cab Merlot 2013 from Catching Thieves. Which is in Australia, Australian winery. I was going to say brewery then. I was like, no, yeah. that's not right. Australian winery. Yes. Yeah. So that is the label. If you want to zoom in and have a look, there you go. Done. Perfect. Yep. All right. I'm in a daze. Okay. So Hales isn't with us today, no, guys. Not today. <laughs> um, so we have the lovely Lauren joining us. Hello. And what we what we've decided to do is every month we mm. want to hold like a women in business. So if you'd like to come and join us and have a chat with us, and we get to know more about your business and what you do, and maybe what marketing that you use within your business business and how's working and not working for you, then please let us know and come and join us. But for our first session, we're very grateful to have the lovely. I'm right. very honoured. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. So can you tell us a little bit about your business and what you do so that everyone okay. knows all right so I am a personal trainer and under my own name um, Lauren Harkin I actually started in this industry competing under fitness competitions um, started there found the passion found the love saw what it did to myself it um, boosted my confidence it made me feel very independent like I was very quite strong um, and I had a past in eating disorders. So this was an area that I really, really did value. It was health. Um, mm -hmm. So starting in fitness competitions, it was a massive drive to me to go, I, I know that this has helped me. I want to help other women. I want to help other people actually um, be in control of their own life. So that was a big thing for me. Um, and I think I had competed about three times before I went, no, nah, this is really what I want to do. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And so, so cool. at the moment, what are you incorporating? So I know that you do PT sessions. I know that you're, you've got a new thing coming up soon that we'd love yeah. to hear about. So, so um, the personal training I've done for about four years and only about uh, eight weeks ago, I started my first 12 week challenge, which, um, at the moment, I've got about eight girls in it, and the winner of the challenge, as voted by the girls in the challenge, I'm going to send to Bali. Awesome. So, yeah. So, so not cool. only so are they going to yeah. win by improving their life, improving their lifestyle, improving their nutrition and their training and their bodies, yeah. they get like that added bonus or that added kind of incentive to push harder. Wow. Um, the reason I've done this, it's created a team like bonding, like females are getting together, like even when I'm not training them, they're messaging one another, hey, do you want to do cardio? Hey, do you want to train together? And it was, um, it, a lot of the girls have actually built the confidence to actually step into a gym because they've got someone to go with to go now. With, yeah. And it's not yeah. just me, which has been really good. That's awesome. Um, so that has started. Um, I may even be doing another six week challenge come in April, but we're going to see how this one goes first. Um, and as of the end of the year, my partner and I, with a few incredible, incredibly other people, um, partners, are going to open our gym. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And where's that going to be? That is going to be around December, January. Um, but in we'll... In, no, in South Perth. In South Perth. South Perth, Perth awesome. Park area. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. It's um, been a three-year project. Yeah. So wow. it's... Um, Hopefully coming to fruition now. <laughs> the time has definitely um, mm. been worth it. Uh, learning the ropes on the ins and outs of business, big business. Bye, Kim. Bye, Kim. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what kind of services? Do you know what you're going to be offering yet? Do you know what you want to offer at the um, gym? Or? I mean, basically 
Mitch and I have worked in gyms for a long time. Our business partners have been in and out of gyms. They've been run their own businesses. They've been in big businesses before. Um, our main focus is to pretty much change the industry. I mean, it's too easy for people who go to the gym to go into the gym and people who don't go to the gym to feel uncomfortable going in there because mm. you should never feel uncomfortable to want to change your life. Yeah. Um, so our aim is to change that. Um, our, we will offer classes, we will offer, um, there's personalised areas, there's personal training, there's um, people on the floor to always help you. It's, um, Beautiful. yeah. Like a comfortable environment. Yeah. yeah. Anyone can feel like they can I come just, in and not be judged. Yeah, or, definitely. Yeah. I mean, as a personal trainer myself, I'll go to another gym and you can feel the vibe. It's a very judgmental vibe and that's something that we've noticed over the years and really tried to eliminate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, it's so true. I like that. Mm. Yeah, so nice. It is true that you say that because, like, my younger sister, she, um, whenever we want to go to the gym, she mm. feels intimidated. Yeah. Purely because it's like other people that obviously have a lot more experience. Yeah. And they obviously know what to do. So when you walk in, you're sort of like, okay, so what do I actually do? Yeah. Where do oh, I start? My, most definitely. You know? so, yeah. And I mean, I've had I've had clients say to me, "Oh, I'll come to you. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll get personal training when when I've lost some weight." Yeah. Well, that that I, I can't believe I hear that so often, and yeah. it's like our job is to put you on the right path. So you don't, don't do feel that. so helpless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not, okay, you can lose 10 kilos, then you can come to me and I'll tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Because we might be able to give you a few tips here and there to assist that, to go a bit faster, a bit more easier, not so much so much pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah, wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Awesome. That's so cool. And so what, at the moment, have you been kind of, do you do any marketing at all for your company or is it something at the moment? So my, for my personal um, brand uh, as a personal trainer, trainer a lot of my marketing have been the transformations through my girls over the years mm -hmm. um some of my competitors which i put through ifbb and inba um i've had some girls lose over 20 kilos in a year and gone okay this is it's my time to go on stage and it's been a massive journey for them and sharing those stories which obviously you do get um you, you, they do let you that you ask them first yeah, because confid course. confidentiality reasons. Mm -hmm. um, that has been a massive drive for me um, for for my business, like mm -hmm. sharing where what they've done or where they've gone through. I mean, I've I've met girls in clubs uh, that have recognised me as a personal trainer because of their friends, mm -hmm. which has been really really yeah. oh, it's it's a beautiful feeling, mm -hmm. um, and to be able to help them. Um, pretty much develop their own journey and in the end inspire others like it, it goes out of my hands eventually they then inspire their family and their friends that is yeah. more of a reward to, to me than the actual business side of things but as mm -hmm. you know everyone needs to make an income yeah, yeah, yeah. of course yeah Definitely. and so what platform were you using that were you doing facebook or insta or I've, both, used, or? I've used facebook i've used instagram i've used snapchat i've used ysv has been huge with me um i'm just about to jump online and start doing training online and awesome. phone calls so I can actually reach a, a larger scale. Yeah, perfect. Um, so moving forward, I think that's in the next few weeks that I spoke to Kim about. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, social media has been huge. Mm -hmm. um, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at if it weren't for social media at all. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's. It, I think it's – and I've learned more about social media in the last few months than I ever knew, and I couldn't believe the, the extent – to where, I mean, all the way down to narrowing who you really want, age mm -hmm. groups, genders, um, mm -hmm. location in the city. It's been fantastic. And it yeah. helps, doesn't it? That's the thing. Like oh, People don't definitely. realise the impact that social media, Facebook advertising, all that has on your business. Oh, huge. And, and yeah. it's every business as well. This, I mean, you're in the fitness industry, mm, which definitely. we find is a big industry that oh. should use a lot more Facebook marketing. Definitely. Um, but, you know, even in my industry as well with design, in Haley's with body coaching and all that, yeah, it, it plays a significant role yes, in definitely. so many different industries. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. you and you find out through um, being a coach as such, you find out through other industries. Like I train accountants, lawyers, beauticians. Mm -hmm. You learn their industries and how much social media can affect them. Like I've 
made friends with a lot of my clients and they've helped me like we may get my hair done or my eyebrows done or things like that or even even to the point of um I've, I've now got a lawyer mm. um they help you they help you and you help them and it becomes that mutual mutual thing and then you can share their work on facebook through mm. your through your experience yeah, exactly. and i think yeah. that's a massive thing um nowadays you go on instagram and the uh, i think i was i was actually scrolling the other day and you see these top instagram people um, they're also others promoting. Yeah. They're promoting and promoting and promoting. And people may ask, "Oh, where do you get where do you get your eyebrows done? Where do you get your tan done?" Mm. I mean, that's the beautician industry, mm. um, and it's constantly yeah. expanding. Everyone is connected. You've just mm. got to work out how to connect with more people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. exactly. And so you've got have you got more of a following on Instagram or on Facebook? Um, Instagram actually at the moment. Yeah. I actually silly enough, I actually deleted my athlete page on Facebook, which had a few. Um, but I <laughs> kind of took away from the athlete side of it, became a coach. Mm -hmm. So I deleted that and now base a lot of mine on Instagram. Facebook, my personal Facebook is quite high. Yeah. Um, but I've made my Facebook quite personal and my Instagram quite business related. Mm -hmm. I am looking at putting another page up um, to assist personal business as well. Mm, yeah. Oh, so like yeah. a, a separate business page. Do you, yeah. Not, yeah. Do you have a business page? We actually we did create what I think uh, about two months ago before the 12 week challenge came out, but we hadn't been very active on it. And we definitely have felt why we haven't got more clients because mm -hmm. we weren't so active. Yeah. So it's all about being resilient with and very um, consistent. Consistent, yeah. yeah. Consistent yeah. with your posts, with mm -hmm. your information. I mean, people want information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they can see you, you have the information they want, they mm -hmm. will come to you. So if you yeah. if you could change anything, like in the past few months or six months of last yeah. year to get more visibility out there what what do you think you'd probably have done definitely content in hindsight definitely content um i find content is huge um depending on and, and, and content you have to be very careful with it grandma you've got to be consistent you've got to um yeah. have a quite a variety of things but be very focused on one thing so if mm -hmm. i've got personal training i've got to be focused on health side of things or improving someone's life. Um, I found a very big fault in my advertising where I was trying to advertise from 17 to 7 year olds. Well, it's such a big scope, I couldn't mm. direct any of my marketing to one area. And I think I lost a lot of clients that way. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And is that clarity that you got from when you came when and joined us? When I was us? here, yeah. yeah. Okay. I worked out, I worked out, um, I could have, I could have boosted my client base and my personal business mm. a lot faster if I had come here sooner. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So what are your plans going forward? Do you have any ideas of where you want to go as in you've got those things like the gym opening and everything? Yeah. So how yeah. are you going to promote that or how are you going to, you know, gain traction on that? Um, well, the release of most of the marketing and the media will be uh, late mid this year. Um, just to get people aware, awareness is huge, mm -hmm. um, but until we got a set date, we haven't really backed up the date that we're going to release anything yet because it's out of our control to when yeah, we can yeah. begin our works. Mm -hmm. um, in, in saying that, with the gym, I'm actually expanding a lot of my personal knowledge at the moment in marketing, in mm. nutrition, in all those fields. So I personally can offer a lot more or actually know the industry specialist to contact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, it's a lot about networking and who you know and what you can bring and what you can offer people of the industry. Yeah. It really is about it networking, is. isn't it? It, it it's really, so yeah. more and yeah. more, yeah. I find. And yeah. providing value too. That's what people don't do. Yes. They just want people to yeah. buy your product yeah and they yeah. want you to come and see you but then yeah. if you don't show people the value that you have then they're not going to do that no so it's giving, no you have to give people stuff in order to receive and it's a lot about you know? it's value and it's trust yeah. if yeah, you lose exactly. someone's trust you could you could lose hundreds of people's trust because mm. you've hurt one person or you've damaged a relationship that could trickle on because no no one hears about the good things they always hear about the bad, bad things, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. to be a consistent business person to give out knowledge, to give out um, it, the, the fact that you care. I have noticed, especially in, in personal training, um, every single one of my clients has become a best friend. Mm. Um, oh, and it, it really is because it's grow, it, it's made me grow as a person, which is um, I 
I couldn't thank them enough. Mm-hmm. What I've seen in other people is absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I oh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And I think it, that wasn't a that wasn't a personal gain thing. That was just through life. You just the, what um, clients come to me from help, and I, there has been countless times where they have actually helped me more. Yeah, wow. But that's yeah. the thing is that you're providing them value. But then you also get something from that. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. Yeah. So um, tips, obviously we're doing a segment every month. So mm-hmm. we're going to bring in ladies in business. So any tips to any ladies, any personal trainers that are starting up their own business? Yeah. Um, anything you can tell them. Obviously, they're going to go through their own trials and tribulations and problems and everything. Yeah, but yeah. anything to make them ride a little bit smoother for them? Yeah. yeah, okay. So when I first did become a personal trainer, it was actually very hard. I was only 21 and I was in a what looked like a male dominated gym Mm -hmm. um and i didn't actually get fed any clients and being a female being young um in a very male i I would say a lot of the time it's male dominated especially that gym i wouldn't say the whole industry but that gym at the time um it was very difficult Mm -hmm. um and i think to stand your ground and actually get more education through the people you know like i got trained by uh, industry specialists Mm. I, I I just wanted to have personal training with them to see how they went about it. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of it was experience. Um, I jumped on Gumtree sometimes. Gumtree was really big, just advertising yourself, your name, what you can do, what you can provide. Um, going a, above and beyond. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I did, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it now, but I did always did one free PT just to see if it was for them. Because a lot mm. of the time, um, you may not connect personally. Yeah. And, yeah. and and that's not, that's nothing you can change. That's just, that's just a personality clash. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I always, I, I always did one. I, I don't do it now. I probably wouldn't advise people to do it, but it was one way that I did it back then. I think the industry is a lot more flooded now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one big tip is don't undervalue yourself. Mm-hmm. As soon as you undervalue yourself or go or, or price yourself lower than the rest of the market, you've lost not only credibility, but you've lost um, respect. Yeah. Um, and we're yeah. seeing it a lot in the industry now. Like we're seeing um, thirty-minute sessions for twenty-five dollars, mm. and not only are you undervaluing yourself, but you're undervaluing the industry. Yeah, it brings mm. industry. Mm. It, does. it does. It does. It does. And you and you have no idea what you're going to get mm-hmm. um, for that money. And the thing is, if you undervalue yourself, you get undervalued clients because they're not putting. They're not. It's an investment. They're not investing in themselves. Yeah, they want to yeah. invest in themselves and they want to invest in you, and you want to feel like you are worth that and you need to give that worth mm-hmm. mm. yeah that's awesome. a true value exchange it, it really is yeah. Yeah. it really is yeah and that's across every industry as well not just personal oh, training. most definitely yeah. most because definitely i find it myself with my business when i first started i was always thinking oh i shouldn't be charging that much but at the end of it you have a skill yes so yes you know you should be charging equivalent mm. to what you think that skill is worth and what yeah. the industry says it's definitely. worth so yeah yeah that's a really good lesson yeah, yeah. Wow, awesome. so insightful. Yeah, is there any, anything else that you want to add at all? There's no need to. It's just if, if we feel, if you feel like we've left anything out that's not um, being said. Anything that you want that would people be a to value know. Yeah. to people to, out there. Probably the, the one thing that I find is, yes, um, to get a coach in any industry is incredible because you learn about yourself, you learn about the industry, and you learn about growing. Yeah. But don't underestimate your own ability to work something out or find something out. Mm-hmm. Don't take one person's word for it. Um, many times I've, I've heard people take uh, a coach's word for it and it's incredibly wrong and it has done damage to their health. Mm-hmm. Um, so do your question. own research. Do, do question. Do your own research. Don't take anyone for granted. Um, and learn your own body. Don't mm-hmm. tell someone, uh, don't let someone tell you how you should own your own body because if something doesn't feel right or sound right, question it or research it mm-hmm. or trust your intuition. As mm-hmm. long as your mind, your heart and your intuition are in line, then you can never disappoint yourself or hurt yourself. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So where can people find you? Oh, um, I'm currently at Anytime Fitness in Applecross. Yeah. Um, I work there seven days a week at the moment. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Trying to cut down Sundays. So. Yeah. Wow. Sundays I'm, I'm actually dedicating to gymnastics wow. and yoga because I'm expanding my 
my knowledge flexibility. base. My, yeah. Well, <laughs> wow, I'm, girl. I'm, I'm moving into different areas now, more about um, health coaching, not only body, but mind. Um, oh, awesome. I'm looking into nutrition, yoga, meditation has been a big one for me. Mm-hmm. Um, being in a very high energy field for so long, you need to learn how to bring it back down. And I'm as you can ask my many friends, I'm quite loud. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. That's why we love you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we miss you around the office. You make oh, it really right. I'll just, I'll just, just jump in every now and then. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what about on Facebook or Instagram? It's just- so Facebook is Lauren Harkin and Instagram should be Loz underscore Harkin. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So thank you coming. so no, much. Thank you. Literally thank been you. so insightful. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> thank thank awesome. you. Awesome. And I didn't so, even drink my whole glass, guys. I'm cutting back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she must have really. I'm not, I'm not telling you the no, no. <laughs> She must have been really interested in I the was, conversation. I was. <laughs> As I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> that is a first. Wow, that you is a first. Press. <laughs> I do have self control. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for Thank tuning you so in. Much. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Now I'm going to turn. <laughs>